This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Thursday, March 11th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We're talking this week and next about our Congregational Covenant of Right Relations, and each day highlighting one of the statements of intent that's part of that covenant. Today, we're talking about the, the statement that the congregation passed on healthy boundaries. So it goes like this. In addition to lending support to the first and second principles, establishing and honoring healthy boundaries helps build trust among us and helps each of us engage in more constructive and effective problem solving and conflict resolution when needed. To that end, we will tell our stories and refrain from speaking for or about others, share our needs directly and clearly with member, board, staff, and or ministers trust, entrusted to address those needs even knowing our needs may not be met in every case. Learn and respect limitations of staff, ministers, and volunteers, and make commitments on their behalf only with their consent. Do our part to ensure a workplace and a place of worship free of harassment. Use agreed upon procedures and channels to address concerns about conduct or performance of leaders, staff, or ministers and acknowledge the limits of pastoral counseling and seek professional help when needed. There's probably a lot to be said about healthy boundaries. Um, there is in the context of congregational covenant. Um, let me tell you why it's important to me. I, I think one of the challenging pieces of ministry as a job is it's a job that mingles the personal and the professional in in ways that most places of employment draw pretty hard distinctions. Those distinctions are a little blurrier in ministry. Who you are is integrally tied with how you do your job. That's often an uncomfortable place for ministers to be. And we have to acknowledge that it's a real place for ministers to be. So having this sense of healthy boundaries established in the Congregational Covenant means that for me, there's a place to fall back when I say, I really need to be a human and that needs to be separate from my job. And I need to know that the congregation respects that, respects that there's a difference between who we are at the church and who we are in our personal lives. That's even more important right now, over the last year, as I've been doing these daily updates uh, <laughs> about five feet from where Stacy and I sleep uh, for the last um, several months. That's in an already fuzzy situation, that's, that's a boundary that is difficult and necessary right now. The, the reality of the coronavirus pandemic has meant that we're actually in each other's faces quite a bit more, both uh, on Zoom with whatever's going on in the back. That makes boundaries even more important. That who we are when we're working for the church and when we're interacting as members of a church is actually not always the same as who we are when we're in our private life. That's true of me. But that's also true of the rest of the staff of this church, certainly the leaders, the lay leaders of this church, and really all of our membership. We get to, we get to choose the boundaries of, of our own um, identification with the congregation. Anyway, I'm glad to see this in the, in the Congregational Covenant. It's one of, one of the things uh, back many years ago when I was looking at this and it was brand new and I was interviewing I remember seeing this section and saying, ah, okay, this is a congregation that I can trust to hold being a minister with a young family and to recognize that there are some boundaries there. Tomorrow we'll pick up with the next section of intent, which is accountability.